And we're live. Good morning, world. This is Dustin and Drew here with another episode of Ask Us Anything with Headset Advisor. So what you're probably noticing right now is Drew's in my bubble. And, oh, yeah, I forgot uh, <laughs> about that. I always do that. And, uh, and that David is not with us today. So um, usually it's David here. He's the host of the show. And then we've got Drew chiming in from time to time from his remote location with a beanie on. Not today. We've got the hair done, ready to go with a nice headset draped around his neck. So uh, today on this episode, like all other episodes, we are here to take your questions. So if you have any questions whatsoever about headsets, about um, different providers like Zoom, Ring Central, Teams, anything like that when it comes to working with hardware, phones, conference phones, webcams, uh, or any, any questions at all. If you have orders, uh, back orders, um, questions about anything to do with our business, just feel free to drop that in the comments section below and we will uh, answer your questions. Um, and for those of you here on the stream and for those that are going to be watching this at a later date, please do us a big favor and smash that like button for the YouTube <laughs> algorithms. <laughs> All right. And you may also want to ask Dustin uh, about his shirt, why, why he buttons it up all the way. So if you don't want to have, if you don't have any questions today about headsets or anything like that, you can always throw some fun ones in there. Yep, I have to button it all the way up just to show a high level of professionalism. Yeah, we call that buttons. Buttons, and this is boxers over here. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, let's just move on past that. So uh, howdy, Andre. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Really appreciate your support. Hope all is well today. Um, so like I said, go ahead and post any of those questions that you have and, um, you know, comment where you, where are you tuning in from, um, what you're eating for what meal of the day, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, wherever you're at. I can tell you what I had today. Let us know. What'd you, you, you have? Know? What'd you have? So it was guilt free. Typically I don't do this, but I went to McDonald's and I got me a, a sausage egg McMuffin oh. with a hash brown and some delicious coffee. There you it go. was quite tasty. There you go. I even parked my car before I came to the office because I wanted to savor each bite. Mm. And it, it was quite tasty. You know, there's uh, there's nothing wrong with a little McDeanies every once in a while. Oh, I love it. It's, it's so bad, but it is uh, it is so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's, what's he? Andre says, show, show us double light. Oh, you have to do the double thumbs up. Oh, so he's going he, to go. get a screenshot. Yeah. That's why I see what you're go doing over it. there. We'll both do it. <laughs> there you I have go, no Andre. idea why we do that, but uh, we do. Just for you, because you got to give two thumbs up, five stars, and if you haven't done it, go to the Google uh, Headset Advisor and give us a five star review. We'd really appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what well, so, he said. Anything new here over at Headset Advisor, Drew, oh, that you can all... think of? Uh, I've been sleeping. You remember, you guys get me on the live streams, uh -huh. and you're like, "Oh yeah, I, I talk for literally like." two and a half seconds and you're like okay yeah enough of that okay let's get back to <laughs> dustin and david over here so yeah usually david has all the good stuff to talk about and i i guess i'm just like the clown or something like mm. that so um uh yeah i mean aside from that um over here at headset advisor we got all thing all kinds of good things cooking but uh i'm back in the video room so you guys are going to see a lot more videos of me you probably don't want to see that but david is uh quite busy these days uh, I have this new Yaelink headset here. This is the BH72. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Yaelink is a brand that uh, started off actually making like more so stuff like desk phones and things like that. But they now have a whole series of uh, wired and wireless headsets. And they're actually making some pretty cool stuff. So uh, the headset I have right here is the Yaelink BH70, uh, BH72 Lite. There's a standard model and uh, a light model. And the only difference is one has, say, what is it? Qi charging? Yes. 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 One, one allows you to have Qi charging and the light model does not. Um, but this, this headset's really cool. Uh, when you put it on, you have uh, this extendable microphone. So when you extend it out, there you go. You're having you're crystal ahead. clear calls. Oh, What's you're up, up, Jeff? Close. You're up close. Oh, here, let's, let's do that again. This is a magic trick. So. You don't see me, now you see me. 
pretty cool, right? So uh, when you do that um, and you put the microphone in, it automatically mutes your microphone, which I really like. Uh, so that way, if you're on a long meeting or something like that, move the microphone in and then you can be on a walk or walking around the office without that microphone in the way. Definitely. Yeah. So um, a lot of the times people talk about the most well-known brands like Jabra and Poly, um, but Yealink is definitely coming onto the scene with some fantastic headsets that are priced well um, and have some unique features and cool, um, cool things about them. So um, the, the WH series, um, you've got both the base and the premium models, premium being with touchscreen and uh, the, the speaker phone on it. Um, and then you've got, you know, headsets like this from Yealink. So they're really getting into this headset game, stepping it up. So definitely worth a look uh, when looking for headsets. Okay, we've got some questions here. So we are here to answer those for you. We've got Jeden who says, I used a Plantronic Explorer 50 for years for work and recently lost it. I loved the headset line of Explorers. Since they don't make them anymore, I am looking at a Plantronics 5200 UC. Thoughts? Uh, and then he says, I am, uh, uh, they say, um, so excuse me, uh, he or she says, I am on the phone, Teams, WebEx, all day, with my phone, laptop, all day, usually on the phone. I'm looking for about $100 range and like the single ear headsets. So, um, Drew, what do you what do you think uh, for Jeden there? Uh, Explorer 50 in the past, considering the 5200 within that hundred dollar range for phone teams and WebEx all day. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking to use the headset, uh, the 5200 headset specifically on your mobile phone, that's an awesome way to go. Um, if you're looking to connect to your mobile phone and computer, that not that may not be the best way to go, and you'd want to get the UC version, but that's going to increase that price point a little bit more. You're not going to be able to get it at $100, but if you go with just a Bluetooth model, you should be able to get the 5200 around that $100 mark. One other headset to consider, if you can just bump that budget up some more, um, is what's, uh, what's called the OpenCom UC. It's a bit of a different approach that this manufacturer is taking uh, by the brand Shox. Um, it's this neckband style. It's super uh, lightweight, uh, low profile, and uses what's called bone conduction technology. So you have these like speakers that rest on the outside of your outside of your ears. So you get audio in both ears and have a very uh, lightweight headset with a good microphone. That's gonna work on all the applications that you mentioned. There's two versions, one for your mobile phone, which is the OpenCom, and there's one for your computer and mobile phone, which is the OpenCom UC. So that may be another uh, model that you may wanna consider. Again, it's not gonna be at the $100 price point, um, but if you just need cell phone connection, the 5200 to your mobile phone would be a good a good way to go, especially if like the, if you like the Explorer series. Yep. So uh, 5200 UC um, and also that OpenCom UC. I think those are two fantastic options to to look at. Um, can't go wrong with with either of them. So definitely worth a look. Um, also something else. Oh, actually, never mind. We'll leave it there. Those are those are two great ones. So just select between them. You'll be extremely happy. Yeah, because I mean, anyone that's looking for something that's low profile and lightweight, anyone that goes with the 5200, they're like, I want something that's low profile, right? I don't yeah. want this headphones. I don't want that. So right. that's why I threw in the shocks one because although it's not just a single ear headset like the Explorer series or the 5200. It's just a unique headset that you have to try for yourself if you're open to trying something. Because like I said, instead of getting audio just in one ear, you get audio in both ears and it, you can't even tell that you're wearing the headset almost. It's a very cool headset. I like it. Yeah. One of our new hires, Todd, he uses the <laughs> OpenCom UC and absolutely <laughs> loves it, recommends it to everybody that he talks to. So, yep. um, you know, he's, he says, hey, I'm wearing this thing all day and get off for the day cooking dinner or something. I forget that this thing's even on. So, um, you know, that's the go to there. So um, yeah, us being headset advisors, we're always testing different headsets. So uh, I'll be having a Yealink on one day, I'll have a 
job you're on the next day. I'll have a poly or Plantronic. I'll just move. We test out all the headsets. So with Todd specifically, it's going to probably be hard to get that headset off his head for him to test other models because he loves it so much. But uh, we're going to have to we're going to have to make him do that. If you're watching this, Todd, we're going to get you. All right, we've got another question from Andre who says, please recommend a headset with a great mic for calls and music in a quiet environment, lightweight, wired, wireless. Well, um, calls and music. Okay, so I'm going to go, honestly, uh, calls and music, uh, that's uh, interesting. So if you're going to go uh, calls and music, um, I'm going to go to top range on this one for my recommendation. I'm going to go with the Jabra uh, Evolve 285. It fully surrounds the ears and gives you a great music experience. Um, it also has active noise cancellation to really block out the surrounding noises so you can be you know, tuned into your music or your calls. And then it has a nice business grade microphone and it's uh, optimized for lots of the most popular applications these days. So I'm going to go with the Evolve 285 recommendation. Again, it's a, it's a bit steep in the price point, um, but well worth it for the right person who wants business calls and music. So that's going to be where I'm going. How about you, Drew? Yeah, I'll add, I'll add, that's a great recommendation. The Evolve 285 is really, the, it's honestly the top of the line business headset. If, if a budget isn't a concern, uh, that headset's awesome, has a good microphone, sounds great for hybrid work of listening to music or using it for your phone calls. Two more I'm going to throw in there. Andre, you already have it. Uh, the Orosound Tilt Pro would be the second recommendation that I would throw out there. Um, it's going to sound much better on your computer or mobile phone. Well, it's going to sound much better for music on your computer when you use the included USB adapter. Uh, but it's also going to give you better music quality when you use your cell phone as well. Orosound is also releasing their own uh, USB dongle to connect to the computer, so you'll get that added um, you'll get that added audio quality versus connecting via Bluetooth to your computer. Uh, so Orosound would definitely be Orosound Tilt Pro would definitely be a good way to go. And then if you're looking for something that's uh, a lower price point and you're okay with something that's worn on the ears versus over the ears. Uh, this Yaling BH72 uh, is definitely a good way to go. They have an app where you can customize the EQ settings. So you can balance out how much bass, how much treble, all of that. Very lightweight, affordable, overall solid headset for calls and you know personal use. So that would be three different uh, headsets and three different price ranges, depending on what's uh, most important to you. Yeah, and that, let me give one one final one that just came to mind for me, and that's the Bose 700 UC. Yeah. And this would be for a person where music is extremely important to you, um, but the calls aren't as important. It still has a nice quality uh, sound in the microphone, yeah, being that it doesn't have it. the microphone boom, um, but. Uh, but it's not it's not going to have the microphone boom, so it's not going to give as good of sound quality as the uh, Oro Sound Tilt Pro, the Jabri Evolve 285, uh, or this Yaylink headset. Um, but the music quality is going to be better than all of them. You know, a, a lot of people know Bose for um, uh, for helping people to uh, headbang like this and and um, enjoy their music. So um, they're definitely much better than the rest when it comes to that. Um, but the, the call quality is going to be a little bit diminished. So I'd say the best balance is probably going to be either the Evolve 285 or the Orosound Tilde Pro C+. Plus. Um, that's like the best of both worlds, but um, Bose definitely when it comes to music quality is going to be very, very nice. Yeah, I, I didn't hear you that whole time. Um, I had my active noise cancellation on on my Bose 700 UC. I really loved it. <laughs> uh, you see me? Did you see me rocking out? Yeah. 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 You you got a headbang sometimes. Yeah. So show them what uh, we'll compare real quick what they look like. So. And then this is the Orosound Tilt Pro C Plus. Where's the right and uh, left? Okay. All right. Yeah. So what's cool about these, like Dustin has, that's the Tilt Pro. This is the Evolve 285. This is like a price point of like 549 or something like that. Tilde Pro is 399, but they both have a unique feature. Go ahead, and, go ahead and show them your magic trick, oh. and then I'll show them my magic trick. You want the magic trick? Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> so that's nice if you want to just. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's nice if you just want to listen to like personal audio and not look like you're at work or in a call center. And then same thing with uh, the Evolve 285. They just take a little bit of a different approach, which is the microphone here. I'll show you my magic trick. <laughs> oh, there we go. So you had to spin it around. Now, when you do that, you have a microphone um, that gives you a much better quality versus something that's not gonna have a microphone boom. Like Dustin was mentioning, the Bose 700 UC, awesome for music, good for calls. Whereas the Tilde Pro and the Evolve 285 is gonna be kind of the opposite. It's gonna be very good for music, but not as great as the Bose 700, but they're gonna give you that added microphone option. All right, we've got Dougie Fresh in the comments here. D and Dougie Fresh! He says, uh, Doug, uh, excuse me, he says, <laughs> Drew, you need one of those headset advisor shirts. Uh, Slacking. Yep. Today, this is more the casual show, Dad, so don't worry. Right after this, I'm going to be taking this shirt off and putting our uh, headset advisor collared shirt on so I can start recording more videos and making you proud. Is this Dad? Or is this Doug or is this dad? It's dad. Oh, hey dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll have a chat with him after this episode here. So yeah. don't worry about that. We're handling everything here in the office. Mm -hmm. Get back to dogging. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So we've got a, another question here. We've got um, from Prithvi. Uh, hello, Prithvi. Thank you for coming back. Um, we, we have a, uh, ha <coughs> excuse me. Have you experienced Wi-Fi interfering with Bluetooth audio? I have not. The, uh, the short answer is I have not. Um, long answer is there's always possibilities with wireless technologies. If you get so much in the same uh, vicinity, I'm sure there can cause um, interference and whatnot. But as a general rule, Bluetooth headsets, uh, causing inter uh, causing interference with Wi-Fi usually isn't common from what I've seen. Um, so I'd have to look into that a little bit further to see if that's really a common thing. But from the customers we deal with, uh, I don't I've I don't think I've ever heard interference being caused from Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's typically if you get say 200 Bluetooth headsets in a very small area or close area, that's when you can start getting interference. That's what we've seen. Definitely. Okay, we've got a, a comment from nobody. Hello, many headsets have weak points and the plastic cracks. Please tell us about the headsets that are reliable in operation. Hey, um, great point and great question. And this is actually very um, under looked at for a lot of people of like weak points or known defects or anything like that on products. So, you know, I don't want to necessarily throw any uh, any products under the bus, but hey, we're we're not biased here, and we want to give you um, you know what we know about. So let me just give you um, a general kind of idea, and then I'll give you a couple of examples of of ones um, maybe to avoid and what has gotten better. So. Um, when it comes to most of the headsets that we, um, we've we seen, um, at least these days, the uh, durability is really good with most of the products, whether wired or wireless. Um, that being said, we have seen that sometimes when certain products get phased out, it's because of a durability issue that it's just, you know, people are breaking them at a rapid rate and it's, it's just really problematic. So um, we've seen that in some of the wired headset lines on, and it's usually on the cheaper end of the, um, of the headset range. So you're talking headsets that are sub $50. Um, a lot of the times there will be, you, you just gotta be a little bit careful when you're in that sub $50 price point because to deliver a $50 product when it goes through a manufacturer, a distributor, to a reseller, then to you, I mean, you have to think that there's not a lot of profit in there. So th there's going to have to be some uh, sacrifices and usually it's going to be to um, some of those durability issues. So um, so you got to watch out there. Um, one thing I do know is that we've got the Discover D711 and D712. Also the Discover D711U and D712U. Uh, the U meaning USB, the other one is for desk phones. And uh, interestingly enough, we actually had a known weak spot 
um, that we started finding when we were delivering these headsets uh, years ago. And um, what happened is, is we went back to the manufacturer um, and we actually got that part reinforced with like a metal, some sort of metal thing in the headset. And now it went from having a defect in a crack or break to literally it's almost impossible to break. So that is one of the most durable wired headsets that I can vouch for at this time. So if you're looking for a wired headset to, and that's durable and good quality, Discover D711 and 712 are fantastic choices. And the price point. Price point so, is I hard mean, to it's beat. Just like... You're gonna be under $100. You're looking at you know, 60, 70 bucks or something in that range for these headsets. Now. One other one that comes to mind um, is one of the perennial favorites, which is the Plantronics Voyager Focus UC. Now, I didn't say Voyager Focus 2, U, uh, 2 UC. I said Voyager Focus UC. On that particular model, what we did find, and I, I wouldn't say that it's like 50% of the time, but you know, more than you'd like, there was a weakness in the headband where that product would... Um, would break, unfortunately. Really, really nice headset, but that was one of the downsides to it that we saw. The Voyager Focus 2 UC, the replacement, um, seems to have fixed that problem. So it's a extreme one of the best headsets. It's really the flagship and the poly line. And um, uh, I couldn't speak highly enough about that particular model. Um, so I'd avoid, me personally, I'd avoid uh, getting the Focus UC if you see them for cheap on Amazon or something like that. And I'd uh, direct yourself toward toward the Focus 2 UC, not only because it's got um, more durability, but it's just updated and is, is better than, than the previous model. So, um, you know, those are, those are kind of some of my thoughts on that. Do you have any other? Yeah, Jeff, can you uh, see if we have a Focus 2 UC so I can continue uh, showing off the different headsets uh, for the audience to check out? I think sometimes seeing and hearing is believing. So sure. we can talk about it all day, but let's go ahead and just show it. All right, so uh, is this the two? Yeah. All right, so this is the Focus 2 UC. If you haven't seen uh, this headset from Pauly, let's really... get it up close here, Jeff. Yeah, let's get it up close. What he said. It'll be on the table. Oh, okay. Oh, let's move these out of the way. All right, yeah, so this is the uh, Focus 2 UC. If you're not familiar, awesome headset, has everything you want. Uh, like Dustin mentioned, they improved it overall. This is from the first version to the second version. Awesome microphone, extremely comfortable. Go ahead and move it over to me wearing it, Jeff. Uh, and so this is what it looks like on. I mean, this headband cushion thing that they have, it, I don't know what they did, but it literally, the way it sits on your head, it's extremely comfortable. You can easily wear this headset eight hours in a day, so. Yeah, for headsets of this kind, uh, talking about dual ear headsets, especially with active noise cancellation. So you're talking about the Evolve 275, uh, the Focus 2 UC and several others. The Focus 2 UC is, in my opinion, the most comfortable by far. That's one of its best attributes. Yeah, it is. It's extremely comfortable. Yeah, you, it was so comfortable that I need to put one on your head. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, see, now you guys know why I'm sleeping yeah, all the time. Yeah, you don't want to fall asleep on your call. So, yeah. you know, depending if you're looking to, <laughs> to take a nap or something, then maybe get yourself one of these, but- Multi-purpose, uh, you can do it for calls, meetings, music going to sleep to block out the neighbor that's blasting their music next door. You know, it's an all-in-one multi-purpose headset for you guys. Fantastic choice. So be sure to use coupon code YouTube on headsetadvisor.com uh, for a discount on any of these headsets. And as always, feel free to give us a call or send an email to info at headsetadvisor.com if you have questions, if you really want to find out if you're making the right decision. Maybe you're deciding between a few different models. Um, we've got account managers here that are um, well-educated and ready to advise you on the right headsets for your situation. We'll help with setup, installation, uh, lifetime support, all that good stuff. So we're here for you. Man, that training process is crazy though to be a tr like a true advisor of headsets, right? right? Like even this, all these new headsets coming out, you're like, how do you, they're like, they ask us by the end of these calls, like, how do you know all this information off the top of your head? It's like, uh, 
which saves them so much time researching. Yeah. You know, like think about us, how much training we do for our employees to uh, get that level of knowledge that they can just say information right off the top of their head. Yeah. On the flip side, if you're a buyer, you're like, I'm doing all this other stuff. I don't have time to just research all these headsets. You're literally spending hours. Yeah. You buy a headset, you get it. Maybe you buy 50, you deploy them. 30 days later, you realize after you surveyed the employees or you're getting those IT tickets, everyone's like, this thing's horrible. It doesn't work because the right one didn't get purchased. Right. And you're like, oh, but I spent hours on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's definitely a good thing to... Um, you know, to seek out some second opinions just to make sure that you're making a good buying decision. So All we're right. here to help you out. And um, I want to say thank you to everybody here on this stream because you are hitting that like button for us. <laughs> it really does help us out. So we're up to nine. Hopefully we can get up to 90 in the blink of an eye. All right. See, I can't go. help myself uh, when my brother throws all those exaggerations out with his hands. It just it kills me every time. So I got to copy him. So that's right. what little brothers are for. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we, uh, we've got one, no Bose audio headsets. Well, uh, no, not really. So Bose, when it comes to business grade uh, communications headsets, um, the, the Bose 700 UC is really going to be the flagship there for Bose. Um, but it doesn't have that microphone boom. So I couldn't recommend it as being top tier for communications. It's a hybrid headset that leans much more in the direction of an audio listening experience for music and movies and things like that and secondarily for um, business calls or let's say you're in a really quiet environment and you don't need to block out noise and the best possible sound quality isn't of the utmost importance to you then the bose 700 uc is certainly worth a look but if being on business calls and sounding crisp and blocking out background noise is important to you, I'd look elsewhere. Again, Oro Sound, Tilde Pro, uh, Jobber Evolve 2, uh, 75 and 85, and then also that uh, Voyager Focus 2 UC from Poly. Those are some excellent options. Yeah, just as a general rule, any headset that has a microphone boom versus one that's boomless, like the Bose 700 UC, uh, you're always going to get a much better microphone experience for people on the other end. So like Dustin had mentioned, the Bose 700 is awesome for a listening experience. And it's good for calls on the microphone, not great on the microphone quality, but you know, definitely good enough. Uh, but that's what's nice about these other models these manufacturers are making. They're, they're making it so you can have the microphone uh, hidden or used. Like, for example, the Evolve 285 or Tilde Pro. If you don't want the microphone boom on because you're on a walk or, or something like that at a coffee shop and you're not doing business, then you can either remove the microphone or hide it within the headset. So um, it, it just makes a world of difference having that microphone boom. All right, we've got Ludo chiming in here. Thanks for stopping by, Ludo. Always nice to see you here. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. What Ludo else man. <laughs> Ludo says weapon of choice, Dustin. Hey, that's right, Ludo. I literally, before I got into in here, I had my weapon of choice <laughs> locked and loaded. I was ready to go. Um, and then I, you know, I had to take it off to get in here for this, but I will be putting that thing back on and, and getting to the rest of my day. So, Hey, Oro Sound Tilde Pro is my weapon of choice. That is exactly <laughs> Just right. Just like we were talking about Todd earlier with this OpenCom UC, Dustin's weapon of choice is that Oro Sound Tilde Pro. I just can't take that thing off his head. So I'm yeah. always trying to switch him to something else. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I want my Oro Sound Tilde Pro. Yeah, but again, like we always mention, you know, there, there are tons of good headsets and there everybody has unique preferences and, and um, situations. So that's what we're here to help with. I so happen to default to that model because I just really like uh, a lot that it has to offer, um, but that's no slight toward any other model. And I can with integrity recommend other models to people because I know there isn't a one size fits all. So uh, again, if you want any um, advice on what might be best for you, contact us, we're glad to help. Yeah, that's something, dude, that's something that I really love about our job is that we, we, um provide all the brands and we can advise on all the brands and not just be limited to one choice. And even the manufacturers know that their product isn't gonna be a one size fits all, but you know, the ones where it does fit, it's awesome for that customer and we can offer the different uh, solutions of headsets depending on everyone's specific needs. Yep. For example, if someone is just like, there's no way I'm wearing a headset that goes over my head. 
okay, the Tilt Pro is not gonna be the one to go. You may want, earlier on, we talked about the Voyager 5200 UC or the OpenCom UC. So every brand, it's really nice that we can, we don't have to just be stuck and limited to one brand. We can help all the customers with whatever fits them best. Definitely, yep, that's right. Uh, okay, so Tig uh, writes in saying, which headset is best with multiple devices? And Tig, a Tig, <laughs> this is one of my pet peeves. No, just kidding. So, um, so you know, it's really hard to just give you a blanket answer for this because when you say which headset is the best for multiple devices, first of all, there are so many different headsets. I mean, I'm talking 50, 100, something like that that we could recommend for multiple devices. Now, uh, when it comes... To, to, to which is best, it's really not what is best, but what is best for you. So I'd have to know a little bit more about which devices you're connecting it to, a little bit more about your environment. If you could just tell me a little bit more about your situation and your preferences, that will help me to uh, narrow down those options for you. So if you can write back um, with a little more information or send us an email again, info at headsetadvisor.com, um, we'd be glad to, to narrow that down for you. Yeah, and just adding to that, like Dustin said, we get like where Dustin was joking about that this is his pet peeve. We get customers or potential customers contacting us every single day, and they're like, what headset is best? And like Dustin said, we can't just provide a blanket answer to that. It, it doesn't do you any justice, and we need to know a little bit more information so we can properly narrow you down to the best options. Just providing like, what's the best? I mean, it's too it's too hard to go down that road. I mean, everyone would say, hey, what's the best one? And you'd be like, there's this one model that everybody uses and they would all get this one. But unfortunately, it's just not that way. Definitely. Okay, Tig writes back um, saying, I've got the Evolve 285, but it's getting a little buggy, disconnects, etc. cetera. Uh, so I'm looking for alternatives. I tried 75s, but they were not comfortable for me. Okay. So, uh, so somewhat of good news and bad news, Tig. So you're in the realm of some of the mo the best headsets that you can possibly get. So that's a good thing. You're in the right ballpark. Now you're trying to fine tune it to make sure that you get the right fit. You know, when it comes to comfort on Evolve 275, and it just doesn't, it's not comfortable for you. You really, there's not much you're going to do there. So everybody has different size. Uh, head, shape, ears, all that sort of stuff and has different um, responses to headsets in terms of comfort. So that's not a good fit. Evolve 285 though, I didn't hear that there was any discomfort. It was just more about it being buggy. So what I would suggest is uh, one, that you make sure that you perform a firmware update to the headset. So you want to download the Jabra Link uh, or the um, Jobber, uh, Direct. Jobber Direct, excuse me, the Jobber Direct uh, software, and um, and then make sure that your headset is fully up to date. That's one. If it's fully up to date, um, another thing that you could try is a full reset of the headset. And then lastly, um, which I actually just found out this information yesterday, um, if the bugginess comes to when you're toggling between a call and then also going back to music and then something just sounds off, like the music doesn't sound good. Um, what, I, what I found is that um, what you wanna do is deactivate the headset from your, wind, like from your set, sound settings on the computer from the microphone and then you want to activate the microphone on all the applications that you use. So um, if you, you make sure you do that because this is actually a known issue just out in the internet. There's a lot of people talking about that and this will resolve the issue. I found out from one of my colleagues yesterday who uses the Evolve 285, interestingly enough. So, um, you know, if you'd like any further help with that, just write in again to our info uh, email line and we'd be glad to go further into troubleshooting even if you didn't order the headset from us, no worries. Okay. Uh, Let's see here. Um, let's connect. Da, da, da. Okay, so, okay. Tig, uh, Tig comes back saying, uh, so only difference between Bose 700 and Bose 700 UC is the dongle and dedicated button. Hardware is the same otherwise. Yep, that's exactly right. Yeah, so 
uh, Bose came up with uh, the Bose 700 UC. I, I really wish Bose like created a, created a different design or something like that, just because the Bose 700 is a highly popular pair of headphones for personal use. So there's a lot of confusion around what's the difference between the Bose and the Bose 700 UC. And the short answer is that button for, um, uh, I believe it's for micro, uh, Microsoft Teams, and then the USB dongle that connects to the computer. When connecting a headset to the computer via Bluetooth, sometimes customers find that they have an unideal experience of calls cutting in and out. Uh, they don't get added abilities like pressing a button on the headset to answer calls away from the computer. Just a number of issues that you don't want to deal with, especially in a business application. So although um, the price difference is, I don't know, maybe like 50 bucks, because it includes that USB dongle, it's actually well worth it uh, for your, a great experience on your computer. But yeah, again, I wish they made like a whole different model, like the de design for uh, the business space that was maybe a different design and different model number to um, make things not so confusing. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a point of confusion for a lot of people. Well, yeah, because it, it's such a slight difference. It's literally, okay, there's a button chain. Like, everything is identical. Speakers, everything, microphone, all that. But there's an added button on there, and it includes the USB dongle. And a lot of customers will say, well, I could just go buy an inexpensive, cheap Bluetooth USB dongle online. Well, the downside of doing that is it's still not going to give you the best experience, although it would connect your headset to the computer with the dongle. All the manufacturers, whether it's Bose, Jabra, Poly, all of that, they have Bluetooth in the dongle, but there's proprietary software to give you the best audio experience. Audio and microphone experience and consistency. So like the last thing you want to be on is on like a Zoom call or something and you find your headset always cutting in and out because you're connecting it to the computer via Bluetooth or it's dropping calls. Uh, so that's why the manufacturers make that USB dongle because Bluetooth across different devices is gives you all kinds of different results. Definitely. Um, all right, so Prithvi writes back, uh, but can you sleep on your side with this? And I, I think pointing to the focus to you see. So if you are dialing day and night, 24 seven, keep that headset ready to go. I would not recommend that you use the focus to you see in that case, because it's gonna be a little bulky. Um, it's gonna not feel comfortable sleeping uh, with that headset on. If you wanna sleep with the headset on, <laughs> not sure if you're um, being honest or not, but, or um, just joking around, but um, the uh, op or the uh, Shox OpenCom UC uh, will probably give you um, great comfort when you're sleeping, so. It just depends, like you're trying to block out the noise or whatnot, <laughs> pretty much any headsets we have. I, I, I wouldn't recommend sleeping with any of the headsets. It's it, no matter which one, it's yeah. going to be uncomfortable. You, whether you're on your back with the shocks, you have oh, the neck true. band in the way. Well, if you sleep on your side, yeah, sleeping on your side. So okay, I understand. it might work. Yeah, but if, or, you, or, if you're trying to block out the noise, yeah. though, then well, it's yeah. like you need the it's, true. So I don't think any of our customers have said that they use their headset to go to sleep at night, but maybe so, maybe you're different. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna find the best one for sleep, and then we're gonna email blast out to everybody. We're gonna say the best headset that's most comfortable when you're sleeping. <laughs> and then we'll see if there's good results or not. So we'll see Prithvi. Thanks for the, thanks for the heads up. It's always nice to hear what's important to people. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, Frida here. Um, if you carry the headset back and forth between home and office, it needs to take some abuse. Oh, that's, that's totally right. And so um, that's why with uh, headsets that you're going to transport, um, it's important that they come with a carry case. Um, so whether that's, um, say, a headset like one of the Discovers that comes with a, a nice uh, carry case, like a um, hard carry case, um, or even like the, the uh, Voyager 5200 UC that comes with a cool little uh, travel charge case that really protects the headset. Um, it really is helpful because if you just have the headset out and just throw it in a bag, it might be fine for a while, but it can get all twisted up and um, take more abuse than is necessary. So Yeah, most of the manufacturers have um, pinpointed that as a, a concern for customers. And also being that so many people are commuting and whatnot, uh, most headsets today uh, will include some sort of carry case, whether it's a hard carry case or a soft carry case, but most of them include that for the exact reasons that Dustin mentioned. 
Cooper's here with the Ric Flair woo. Oh, no. And then we've got uh, ESP Guitars own. Oh, Cooper. That's, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're hey. catching on. That's our phrase here, that, too. That's, the, Every that's day. the echo. Oh, Cooper. <laughs> oh, not again, Cooper. Oh, no. Oh, he's at it again. All right. <laughs> we'll have to talk to that guy. Yep. All right. So let's see. All right. Yep. Ludo to the moon. I couldn't agree more. All right. So, for example, Okay, so Tig, Tig writes back, um, uh, referencing a little bit more about the situation. Mm -hmm. So, for example, switching between a laptop and an Android phone, multi-point connect, connection. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is going to be yeah. the, the USB with, with Bluetooth, uh, yep. USB dongle. Okay, uh, i.e. work call on phone and then switching back to la laptop for team seamless. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Let's see. Do, do, do. While you're reading that, yeah. just to quickly address that point, um, a headset that has multi-point or even a headset that includes the USB dongle for you to seamlessly switch between computer and mobile phone. From our testing, uh, there, it's still not perfect seamlessly. It's, um, it does it seamlessly, but some are better than others on how often there's maybe a bug that happens between the seamless connection between the two. So it seems that all headsets that we've tested have some sort of, uh, they get some sort of confusion at some point, but it definitely does a lot. It's a lot better of an experience uh, versus a headset that doesn't have that where you have to unpair it from your cell phone, repair it to your uh, computer. And then when you want to go back to your cell phone, you have to do the same process. So uh, just keep that in mind on that point of multi-point and seamless connection. Definitely. Okay, Frida uh, writes in here, if I want a great sound quality, excuse me, if I want great sound quality and mic plus comfort, but don't need ANC, any thoughts? Wireless preferably, use would be mobile phone, Zoom meetings and webinars. Mm -hmm. So what, what are your thoughts on that? So doesn't uh, comfort, uh, sound quality, um, and mic plus comfort, but don't need ANC. And then this is um, like a Bluetooth with USB. Dongle. Yeah. So when you say ANC, um, that don't don't need it with the so yeah. So it leads me to believe like when you say ANC, are you saying like I understand like you, ANC in the speakers uh, isn't needed, but are you also saying that you'd prefer a headset that doesn't cover both ears? Um, so, so that's hard I'd to say. I'd say for me, like I, I'm going to answer this one saying a uh, few different options. So I'm going to go with the uh, Poly uh, Voyager 4320 UC. So that doesn't have ANC and is a really nice headset. Um, I'm also going to go with the Jobber Evolve 265. A uh, really good headset that doesn't have ANC. And then lastly, I'm going to go with the OpenCom you see from shocks those those are going to be three options that do not have anc um, that are definitely worth a look at um what what do you think about yeah those i mean th those are pretty yeah definitely those would fit the needs of having no anc the only other one that i would throw in there uh is the yaylink bh72 that i'm wearing right now it's dual speaker does not have anc in the speakers uh, but the no uh, all these headsets that Dustin recommended, they all have a noise canceling microphone. So if you do if you do get around noise, uh, having a noise canceling microphone is going to help reduce the noise going on around you, uh, so callers can hear you clearly. But the only other one that I would have thrown in there, that's a spot on. The only other one would be the Yaling BH72 that I'm wearing. So the top two, though, when it comes to microphones uh, for microphone sound quality, and then what it back will block out. Um, I'm definitely going to say that that would either be the Voyager, uh, uh, the Voyager 4320 UC from Poly or the Jobber Evolve 265. So those would be the competitors right there. And then the other ones will still be, you know, pretty solid, but not going to give you as great of the microphone and, and uh, noise canceling abilities. Okay. Um... Okay. Yep. So that seems satisfactory for Frida. 
um, there. <laughs> Prithvi was just joking with us. Yeah. She was just yanking our chain. Okay. Yeah. All right. I see you. I see you working. Yep. Okay. Got to get her on the show. <laughs> and keep it fun around here. We'll have a segment where it shows. Oh, no. She said I wasn't kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't kidding. All right. Okay. So I, accident, uh, I actually have problems when I accidentally slept on the side and never slept with these on again. Yeah. But if I you am. can. Yeah, uh, so accidental side sleepers. Well, yeah, I don't know any headsets we offer. Sorry, I wish we had a great answer, but uh, I don't. I'm not sure if anyone's sleeping with yeah. their headset on. Uh, so I have no idea. I'd have to start doing some some sleeping tests at home with these different headsets. Yeah, so go go ahead and give it a try and let us know how it goes. <laughs> all right, thanks. So all right, we've got Adam Macias uh, tuning in here. So thanks for joining us, Adam. I always appreciate you showing up to the lives. And if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and hit that like button for us. We'd really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, he says, I love that Yaylink headset. It's a great design and sounded great. Mm -hmm. Sure did. You, you, it seems like you're like this quite my liking headset it. of choice today. I, oh, yeah. I, I mean, I really like it. Whoa. <laughs> oh. All right, that's your headset of choice. I've got my headset of choice here. <laughs> yeah, see, look, look, your microphone just flew off. See, mine's right here. See this? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, mine can't do that. So uh, we'll uh, just keep moving on. So... All right. Yeah. <laughs> see, yeah, yeah, see this is sustainable. See, you can put the large ear cups on, and but then have small ear cups, so... It does have a pretty sweet de looking design, too. It but, does. You know, mine's, mine's still cool. Mine's cool. That's debatable. Uh-huh. <laughs> you just stay with your tilled pro, buddy. Uh-huh. Uh, so yeah, no, I, I like the overall, all jokes aside, I like the I like the Yaylink BH-72, uh, like Adam said. Solid headset. It's like a lot of these headsets, they're, they're just getting better and better as time goes on. So separating yourself from the other ones, it's like, man, just because all the manufacturers are getting so good on what they make, extremely long batteries, you can use them wired, wireless. They sound good. You can do all these cool features like putting the microphone in, taking it out, hiding it. I mean, they're doing a good job. So especially all of us are on Zoom calls and everything work from home now or this flex schedule. It's like people went from, oh, no, I just use my desk phone. Like they would go down that philosophy where we'd have to educate them on there to the desk phone went away. And now they're like, oh, wait, I do have to use something. Yeah. You know, and, and that's a, a really good uh, a point that you make there is. Um, uh, you know, about that flex schedule, right? Mm -hmm. Like the hybrid new realities of the world of work, right? Mm -hmm. This, I work at home or I work in the office or I work in a coffee shop or I'm working on the road or just in a hotel somewhere. Or like some people, you know, you'll see like they're like Instagram or something. <laughs> they're like, oh, you know, just another day, um, just another day at work. And then it's like them at the beach with this yeah. like great sunset, like they like filter, put the filters on it, got the feet kicked up, toes in the sand, just got a laptop lifestyle over there. I'm a little jealous, I must admit. No, one person had, I saw this post on LinkedIn, this, um, uh, one of our technology partners that we work with, I believe she was in like, she was in the bathtub with her laptop. Oh. <laughs> Hey. But like she was in the bathtub, there was no water, but she was just like in the bathtub. And I'm like, well, there you go. This is a new world that we live in. You can work from the bathtub. You can work on the balcony. You can work in the sunset. You can work in, in France. I mean, you can work anywhere you want. Yeah. And so um, the important thing to consider here and, and something um, a live or excuse me, a, one of the live streams that is going to be a giveaway event that we have coming up um, in the uh, in the works where we're in discussions and I'm going through the planning on it now. And um, we're gonna be talking about the new realities of the, the uh, hybrid workforce. Um, and so we're gonna be able to show some different equipment that is worth taking a look at that will help you um, to communicate best, whether that's with microphones, with active noise cancellation, um, with the right video equipment, all sorts of stuff so that you can be prepared and, and have the best possible uh, equipment um, for this new reality on all these video meetings and calls and um, noises and all that stuff. Um, so um, that's something that we're gonna be 
you know, having, having more discussions around because um, we know that it's important to you and it's going to be increasingly important as time goes on. Um, so just stay tuned for that. And I know you guys love those giveaways. Um, those, those usually bring quite a few people in and we will send them worldwide as you guys know. And anybody that goes in that comment section Woo! and says that we do not sell Woo! or we do not send these worldwide and it's Woo! a scam. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do the Ric Flair. Dustin was doing the WWE voice out there, so, so I was wooing. Any anybody anybody who tunes into those live streams and says it's a scam or that we don't send them, you guys attack. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Them, Tell them, <laughs> tell them that it's actually real, and tell them to to, that, to get their facts straight. <laughs> We're trying to do the right thing around here. We're not doing a live giveaway yeah. and not giving away products. Yeah, but yeah, we we, we don't do. even ship international, so we have we've had troubles trying to find out how to make it happen. But we figured it out. We got we got DHL on the line, and we've been shipping those things out uh, globally. Yeah, and I get I get people can be skeptical because they're like, hey, who are these two yahoos on, uh, you know, on YouTube over here saying they're giving stuff away and we actually are giving oh, it I away. Oh, I know. It's just like another one, another one. I'm like, uh, I'm like our, um, our dad's like, uh, are we going out of business? I need to check the profit report of the company because yeah. I don't know what you guys are doing over there, but it's like, all right, this giveaway is like $10,000 worth of headsets, just sending them out. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun. I have fun on the live streams and I think a lot of people uh, some people find us entertaining. I don't know how, but uh, the, yeah, more power to them. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, so, so let's see. Dave, uh, Dave writes in. He says, I would highly recommend the Poly Voyager 6200 UC for sleeping. They're very comfortable, and the headset works for UC calls. Hey, uh, great, great recommendation, Dave. You know, that just slipped my mind, and... Um, that is a very interesting suggestion. So it's got the behind the neck band, but then it's got the two earbuds. Um, so, you know, hey, coming out of the woodworks with a, a wonderful recommendation. And that's just the type of community we have here. People are fired up yeah. and on top of this game. So that one, that one was a sleeper. Yeah. And see, it, yeah. See, see what I did there? No, no pun intended. Yeah, see what I did there? Oh, yeah. it was. Yeah. So uh, great, great. Um, uh, gr great call, Dave. So Frida, take a look at the 6200 UC. I couldn't agree more that that would definitely be worth a look. All right. So um, we've got about nine minutes left here on the show. Um, so what questions do you guys have for us? Uh, we're, we've got nine minutes. This is office hours. We're here to take your questions, talk about whatever you want to talk about. So chime in. Uh, feel free. You're welcome to to write in anything. Don't don't hesitate. Um, we're here for you for another eight nine minutes. So, well, so why did we start doing this show anyway? While people are you know they're thinking of their questions and what they're gonna say to us. Yeah, you, you can cut this off if someone asks a good question on there. But like, why did we start doing this? So it's a it's an interesting thing. So like on our YouTube channel, right? We um, create videos that people really like. They watch the videos. It's it's like reviews and it really helps them out. Um, to make good buying decisions and all mm -hmm. that. Um, but the thing is, is that it's, um, this is an opportunity that we can actually engage directly with our audience in a kind of a vulnerable way, right? <laughs> I mean, we're like live to the world right now, just talking, um, talking to our, um, you know, our audience and um, opening ourselves up to all sorts of questions. Like for example, if we had an angry customer, <laughs> they could just type into here and say that what a bad experience that they've had with us and we'd have to address this question. Uh -huh. Which by the way, if you're an angry customer, <laughs> then you're just um, type into the comments and we'll, we'll be happy to address you in front of the public here just to make things right. So we always want to make things right with our customers. We understand that we're not here unless you're supporting us. So we really, really appreciate you and we welcome anything. Like, of course, we like good things being said and all that, but we're not scared of, you know, not good things. So if you have, if there's any issues whatsoever, it's like, hey, I sent in a product and haven't gotten my refund yet or um, it, whatever it is, let us know and we'll take care of it as quickly as possible. Yeah, and, so. and we know we're, we're 
clearly we're not perfect and nobody is. And even in business, you are going to make mistakes. And sometimes we do. I obviously hate when we make mistakes, but it does happen. And we're always here to uh, assist anytime we can. So I know, I, I know sometimes customers or even me when I'm going to buy from a company and then I have to go through a return or something, or I have to contact them and I think it's going to be a little friction and mm -hmm. we're going to have this confrontation. I'm like, ah, I'd just rather not even do that yeah. for us. Like we just make it very simple to be like, Hey, what's the concern? And then we'll help you out. We'll get a resolution. Definitely. Yeah. And so we're, um, we're, we're doing this show to be uh, transparent to, to answer any of your questions. Um, and just to give you a little bit of extra insight of maybe to who we are and some of the personalities behind the scenes, rather than just um, edited videos um, that are kind of uh, tightly cut. So uh, this is raw and uncut, as you can tell. I mean, we had Ric Flair impersonations um, and all sorts of... Uh, Interesting. See, look things. at his face. Look at his face. He's like, oh, that, I that's need to get the active noise oh, yeah. cancellation right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, so anyhow, that that's the reason for the show. And um, you know, the you guys writing in are what what makes the show. So, uh, really appreciate that. All right, we've got uh, five more minutes here. So, uh, Prithvi asks. Oh, this is an interesting question. <laughs> um, how many headsets have you tested so far? Oh my God! What do you, What do you think, Jeff? What would you? We're say? gonna have to pull people on that on our five hundred. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what the exact number is, but what I do know is that we've got so many different demo headsets out here. We've got handfuls over here. We are like swimming in headsets. You know that that like that Scrooge McDuck that like dives into that that coin, that pool of coins. We like dive into pools of headsets, just swimming through them. Um, so we've got headsets. Can you get an up close on that, Jeff? Is there an up close on the table? <laughs> yeah, we put Jeff to work around here. Yeah, so yeah, this, close this is a big pile of headsets here. We've got a headset around his neck. All oh, right, yeah. back up to the main Yeah, it's not in a million years did we think we were gonna just be swimming in headsets as a career. So, hey, here we are. We're, we got all of them. We test most of them. Uh, we try to test as many uh, models as we possibly can. That way, obviously, we're headset advisor. We're trying to advise you on headsets. So, uh, yeah, we definitely go to town on testing a lot of these different headsets. Yeah, so if you're interested in finding a specific video or several different types of videos on a specific make and model of product, here's my advice to you. Go to YouTube and then type in whatever the make and model of the headset is followed by headset advisor. Just type in make and model of headset, headset advisor, and almost certainly you'll get a result from <laughs> that is us. If not like 10 different videos on the same product or even more like comparison videos, a review video, troubleshooting videos, setup videos, all sorts of things to help you out with those. Feel free to view them, comment, um, you know, like the videos, share the videos, anything like that, that would be great. And if you haven't, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel because, did I say inscribe? I think I always say that, subscribe. Nah. Yeah, subscribe. Oh, okay. They get it, they know what yeah. you're talking about. All you gotta do is just that. The inscribers. Yeah, the audience knows when you just do that <laughs> and move your hands, they're like, okay, I need to subscribe to this it, channel ASAP. Exactly. But uh, yeah, it's also, yeah, adding to uh, what Dustin was saying is, if, there, if there's a video that we haven't made as of yet, feel free to comment on one of our videos saying which videos you'd like us to consider creating or email us at info at headsetadvisor.com with any ideas that you may have. A lot of the videos that we've created actually is because our audience has said, hey, I want to review on this or can you compare this headset and that headset? And that's how we've created actually a lot of our content that we didn't even think of. So uh, if you provide a suggestion, chances are we will be making that video. All right, we've got a question from Dave, very, very important question from Dave. He's, he asked, are you guys noticing any supply chain issue given the current environment with everything that's happening? Dave, <laughs> a resounding yes is my answer. Uh, since March 2020, like March, March 2020, when it was like that day where everyone remembers <laughs> the world changed, right? So 
at that point, what happened was, is just everybody flooded our phones. They were, our phones were ringing like they've never rang before. And our stock got cleared out like basically overnight. You know, not, not exactly, but I mean, like within a couple weeks or something like that, it was gone. And literally since that time, um, and just the state of the world, chipset shortages, supply chain issues, and all sorts of just the way of the world right now, um, uh, supply is very difficult. Um, so people will be ordering products or want products. And we just have to say, uh, sorry, we don't have it. And you're not getting it anytime soon. Even when ETAs, be careful on those in this climate. ETAs will say, you know, three weeks. And then two weeks from now, then it gets pushed out to like six months ahead. So if you need a headset by a specific date, and it's not available now, I'd highly recommend you take a look at the alternatives that are in stock because supply issues are uh, very difficult right now. Um, and if you have bigger deployments where you have specific deadlines and all of that, uh, you got to get ahead of this and, and act quickly. Um, because you don't want to wait till the end thinking that you're going to have those products. They're gone. Now you're in a really difficult situation. So uh, if you've got any needs like that, um, feel free to contact us and we can go through the all of the options, whether they're in stock in our warehouse or through distribution centers uh, nationwide. So we have access to every single headset really that you can find. Yeah, um, and, th and this isn't just adding to that. This isn't like one of those infomercials that you see that's like, get it while supplies last, no. get it while supplies last. No, that's and then, a gimmick. then, yeah, then the commercial comes back on and it always says, get it while supplies last. Well, and it's last. doing the time ticker like yeah. 30 minutes, yeah. to 29 <laughs> minutes, like hurry before no, it's, it's gonna be gone. That's like, no. a, that's like a psychology trick. Yeah, we're, we're just waiting for the day that the headsets of all the manufacturers are finally back in stock and then we could avoid this supply chain issue, uh, hopefully have this this never again. Uh, but like Dustin said, usually um, if one brand of model isn't going to be in stock for say six months and you can't wait that long, we have so many alternative models and that's the advantage of going to a provider that has so many different brands. Because say if you can't wait six months for brand A, but brand B and C does have some comparable options, you could at least give those a try and see if they work out for you. So that's what we've been able to do with a lot of our customers that can't wait six months for a certain headset. We provide a few other options and then they're very happy. Definitely. Um, Prithvi asking if we can test the Voyager 6200UC if you haven't already. Um, and Jeff uh, left the uh, in-depth review video. Prithvi, we don't have the headset like charged up. Um, we Maybe we could charge that up for next time and get it li live on the show. Um, but go ahead and check out that in-depth review, which includes a microphone test for you. Um, and that will give you an idea of what the, the headset's all about. Yeah, okay. and we're going to be doing this live every Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if there is headsets that you're like, hey, I've watched your guys' videos, but I, maybe I want to hear how it sounds live or a little bit more about it live. Uh, there's nothing better than going live and then seeing for yourself, hey, we just plug it in and, and this is how it sounds. So uh, keep that in mind if you uh, join us on the next episode. If there's certain headsets you want us to test, just have those um, ready, uh, ready to go, and then we'll see if we can test them live. Yep. Uh, okay. Jimmy says uh, he asks about Jabra Evolve Two versus Bose Seven. Uh, excuse me, Bose Seven Hundred. So, what would you have to say about that? Uh, Evolve Two Seventy Five. Yes, versus Bose Seven Hundred. Let's call it Seven Hundred UC to be most. Comparable. Right. So if you're in a business setting and you're looking for the best possible all around headset for a business application for your mobile phone and computer, uh, the Evolve 275 is really going to be the way to go. So I serve it up kind of, or I look at them like this. The Bose 700 is going to be the best of the best really for your personal audio like music. It's going to have a good microphone, but not a great microphone being that there's no microphone boom. The Evolve 275 is gonna rest on the ears. It's gonna have a microphone boom. It's gonna be good for music, but great for calls. 
So it really just depends on what's most important to you. Um, and then also, do you want something that's fully over the ears or do you want something that's on the ears? Um, but yeah, if you're looking for the best overall work headset, uh, in my opinion, the Evolve 275 would be the way to go for those factors. But you just have to ask yourself those uh, questions on what's most important. So if, my, if a good microphone, not a great microphone, is good enough for you and you're mainly looking like, hey, I want to rock out on my music and have a headset that's, you know, I do calls and meetings every so often, but it's not my main priority, then the Bose may not be a bad way to go. So e both have their pros and cons, but that's kind of how I look at the two. Definitely. Uh, Did so I do good on that? Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a one of those. Okay. <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, so Ludo says, Tilde Pro has permanent stock availability. One of the beauties of not manufactured in China. So great point, um, made in France. And uh, we do have uh, Tilled Pros readily available. Uh, so you can go see that at headsetadvisor.com. Uh, Tilled Pro, all the variants are in stock and readily available. Um, so that's definitely a great option during these times or just any time in general. It's a fantastic headset. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great point, Ludo. Uh, I mean, the stock issue, like you said, um, with the manufacturing issues, because everyone's manufacturing overseas, everyone's going to the same source. So being that you guys actually have stock readily available is awesome. Uh, then that's another advantage of going with an Orosound Tilled Pro, especially if you need stock. Uh, you, your choices become very limited uh, when everything is out of stock, but Tilled Pro is an awesome headset, love it. So Adam asks, how far back would you say there's a shortage on headsets? What brands are struggling the most in supply? Oh, how far back, man, it's, it's 2022. <laughs> yeah. It's, so until this COVID thing, um, is no longer really a thing. I mean, this is just, I feel like it's the foreseeable future for quite some time. Yeah, uh, so it's its hard to say exactly. Um, so we try to stay, at, we're up to date every single day on uh, ETAs with different products. Um, so really it's, it's, it's a changing situation all the time. It's um, sometimes a product will just get in stock, um, goes out pretty quick, then it's out for a while. So really it's a, it's a shifting sand. So, um, you know, all the brands for the most part, I mean, Poly, Jabra, um, it, just a lot of the different brands um, are struggling with this issue. It's not really brand specific. Um, Ludo, I understand that there's some stock in, in the Tilde Pro, but uh, it's not really brand specific as a general idea. Um, it's really just the way of, of the industry right now. So sometimes maybe Jabra is going to have certain products uh, more in stock than Poly, and then other times Poly is going to have maybe um, some more stock than Jabra. So contact us if you want any updated stock counts or looking for a, a specific product or something like that, and we can let you know what the stock availability and ETAs are. Yeah, they're like. basically just playing like whack-a-mole pretty much. Like the stock, finally it gets ordered from the manufacturer, it gets in, and then there were so many back orders already that basically the stock comes in and then it goes right back out. So the supply chain can't catch up right. in time, which causes those three month delays, six month delays, year delays. You're like, oh my gosh, when's this ever gonna change? Yeah, and then there will be, you know, products stuck at like uh, on a boat in ship, like in uh, ports. Yeah. Like it's just stuck for who knows how long, then sometimes it even gets sent back Correct. or it, endless, or the, it will be about to be shipped but then basically for ship space, other companies or other, you know, other companies will outbid, basically <laughs> pay more to get on that boat. And then the other one gets pushed back. So it's, it's a nightmare. It's just a mess right now. But um, hey, you know, we want to operate as best as we possibly can. It's the reality. So we want to talk about the facts and the reality of the situation. Um, but we're not going to shy away from it. We're going to find solutions. We're going to be positive and get some great headsets, uh, no matter what the situation is. So yeah, no, a lot of these things, I mean, we could just say, Oh, sorry, that's not out of stock. But like I said, I'll go back to being able to offer all different kinds of brands and have these great relationships with the manufacturers is we can get further help to help our customers get them something that they need, especially being that all of us are, like I said, are working from home, hybrid, in the office, out of the office. These days, you pretty much need a headset. 
or some sort of audio device. Your laptop, microphone, and speaker is not gonna cut it for a business setting, whether you're at home or in the office, especially, say some noise is going on around you, that microphone and your laptop is gonna be, it's gonna be a very bad experience. So you Definitely. need some sort of audio device. All right, Sandeep writes in, any noise cancellation wired headset for Teams calls for noisy environment for Seek Turban users. So somebody that would have, you know, a, a larger turban on their head. Um, and so we're looking noise cancellation wired for Teams calls. Um, so, so it's either going to be one of two things. This is either going to be something that the headband would stretch out like a lot, which I don't, I honestly don't really see that as, uh, I don't, I don't know of any option because they're kind of similar in the size. Correct. Some are a little bigger than others, but I don't know that there's yeah. any real good one. So it's really probably going to have to be something that doesn't go over the head. Mm -hmm. Are there any, uh, what, so wired, let's see. Yeah, wired, that makes it tricky because most of the headsets that we'd recommend, especially that are wired, um, they're going to go over your head and, uh, could go with it, the, the, uh, the D714U. Yeah, so exact, you could do that. Um, it just depends. If you're not in the US or Canada, you won't be able to get it. Uh, so the D714U would definitely be a good way to go because it's, ear, uh, yeah, it's wired, it's earbuds, and it has a microphone you can detach or reattach. And that's the Discover D714U. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not selling this as like the best possible headset you can get or anything. We're talking this specific situation. So you, you have a much more limited range of headsets that you can select from because it, you know, it's just the headset's not going to fit onto your ears um, going over the turban. So um, something like this, the D714U, which is a pretty rare style of headset actually for a USB model. Um, we've also got... Do we have another ear? Uh, if they would go wireless, they no, could. Just, they but could. just right, wired, just though. Uh, D713U. D713U. Okay, so Discover D713U. Discover D714U. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are two two options that would work. Yeah, that would be the way to go. I mean, there's no neck band, like There's no neck band, especially something like all the headbands are pretty much the same on across the different manufacturers on the how much it will actually extend they're all you know plus and minus just a, a hair but yeah you'd want something like an earbud style uh, like dustin mentioned the discover d714u or the discover d713u you know that'll work just great yep definitely um let's see here uh, and yeah, Frida, I, I agree. So in six months, you may want something else, new launches, launches, etc. Wouldn't want to pre-order. Um, yeah, so I, I agree with you to an extent, but um, if you did put a pre-order, let's say you put something in that's on back order, not expected for three to six months, let's say, but you really want that headset, you're willing to wait. Um, and let's say it still hasn't shipped, um, you know, because you want to reserve your spot in line. Let's say it hasn't shipped yet. Um, but something new comes out, you can always just go ahead and cancel your order with us at that time and we'll refund you the money. So um, no risk there. But yeah, I agree to to an extent. I mean, if it's six months wait and, you know, you, you want to see if there's anything else coming out or something like that. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't make sense to get on a back order. Completely agree there. Right. And adding to that, though, like if you're set on that specific model, uh, getting that back order in, uh, reserves you getting the stock as quickly as it comes in. So if you don't put that back order in and then the stock came in and then it ran out the next week, then you'd be back in the same spot of having to wait for the stock to come in versus if you're on pre-order, as soon as that stock hits, it gets shipped out to you. Definitely. All right. Uh, and yeah, we're about to wrap up here. Just have a few more questions. Uh, okay. Yeah, Sandeep says maybe something that goes on like a neck band, but I don't know any wired mm -hmm. neck band. So, uh, Sandeep, if you were open to um, to a wireless headset or like a blue, well, so you could go with this. Uh, Jeff, is that on the screen? Yeah, so they so uh, Jeff has on the screen. I don't know if you guys see that or not, but you would get the Poly Blackwire HW540. And you would also need to get a USB adapter to go with it, like the DA70, I believe I, it is. I think there, there's maybe the, uh, I think it's a 545 now and 535 oh, right, that yeah. they make the USB yeah, variant. you could do that. So it's the, I think it's the Encore Pro 545 
or Encore Pro 535 if they have that one. I, I haven't brushed up on that. That one actually came much later, the USB variant. Yeah, that's a um, good, good point. Of that, so that is a possibility. Yeah, the HW 545 will allow you go. to wear it as a headband, neckband, or ear hook. The HW 535 is gonna be an ear hook only. So if it were me, uh, I'd be I'd go with the HW 545 to have the ear hook and neckband option for you to switch between to see which one works best for you. Yep, good point. So, so all, all four of those models, D714U, D713U, HW 545, and HW 535. Yeah. That'd be four wired headset models that should, one of them should work fine for you. Okay, great, yeah. you have some great options there, Sandeep. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, okay. Oh, uh, I guess uh, Dave came up with the Logitech Zone Wired. So we we forgot about that. Logitech Zone Wired for some oh, wired yeah. business earbuds. Well done, my friend. Dave is need on a job. <laughs> Dave, are you, you looking to be an advisor here? Dave is <laughs> on it today. Yep. So hey, let's give Dave a round of applause. Hey, great, great value. Really, really appreciate that. That hey, we're on the fly here, so um, appreciate the help. That is that is a great other one to look at. So the uh, the Logitech Zone Wired. That's right. Yep. Just keep in mind though, it's not going to have the microphone boom. So uh, just depends how important microphone quality is. From our testing though, although it didn't have a microphone boom, it's still uh, the Logitech Zone Wired actually still did pretty well. But if you're looking for the best mic quality. As a general rule, anything with a microphone boom is gonna sound the best on, in regards to your voice quality. All right, so we've got a question here from a name that I, um, I think it's just a bunch of keys. <laughs> so, okay, so what headphones, headsets do you recommend for sound suppression and for gaming? Also is 7.1 surround worth it? Um, so, you know, the reality is, is we really don't provide gaming headsets, at least at this time. Um, so we wouldn't be the best people to make recommendations on gaming headsets. I get headset advisor and we, we'd like to get into gaming headsets at some point because we get a lot of gamers we, uh, a lot of gamers work with us, in fact. Um, so we'd like to get involved with that um, at some point. At this time, we don't. And uh, so we don't have really expert knowledge about gaming headsets. So I'm going to you know, lay off of any recommendations there. Um, and really in the business headset realm, those aren't going to really be the uh, greatest options for uh, gaming sort of purposes. So for um, it, you know, I don't want to steer you in the wrong way or just sell you something. So really, what I do is recommend just typing into YouTube or something best gaming headsets. Look at some high reviews or some reputable um, reviewers of gaming headsets and kind of go down that pathway. I know it's not the most satisfying answer, but um, you know, we just do the business headsets at this time. Yeah. So in the future, maybe we'll get into gaming. But one brand that came to my mind is a brand called Odyssey. Uh, feel free to check them out. Maybe they have a headset that would work well for you. Uh, I know they uh, sent us a headset that we're testing out on our personal use, and we've been a fan so far. So again, we're not, we don't uh, review or recommend gaming headsets, but that's one brand that came to my mind that they should have some models that would fit your needs. Uh, Elise, hi, any affordable wired headset working from home that would be good for noise canceling children or dogs in the next room in the background, probably under $70. I tried Jobber Evolve 20, doesn't do much. Um, so Elise, um, it's a little bit tricky in the 70 and under price point to get fantastic noise cancellation on the microphone. Um, that being said, um, I would definitely look at the Discover D711U, Discover D712U, and also, if you're willing to pay just a little bit more, the Discover D722U. All three of those um, are going to uh, give you a bit more bang for your buck in terms of a wired headset with a really uh, nice quality noise canceling microphone. There are better wired um, uh, headsets with better noise canceling microphones, but you're looking at the 150 $200 range. So in the 70 range, um, those are going to be our recommendations for, for the best uh, value for your money. Um, so highly recommend you go that route. Do you think that's fair? Well, I have nothing to say. Okay. That's how, that's how you know it's good. I had nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. I just nodded my head. I just kept going, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's good. That, that's good stuff. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and um, D722U, just for a little insight, is starting to become referenced as the boomstick. <laughs> so if you uh, want to get yourself a boomstick, go ahead and get one for $99.99, but no, not for you. You're going to get a discount. Go ahead and use coupon code YouTube, and you'll get a special price that no one else is going to get, just for you guys. <laughs> All right. Wow, you're generous. Yeah. You like to give money away. Hey, you uh-huh. know, gotta, hey, gotta treat people right. Yeah, now. yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, uh, it looks we're like we're, we're... Yeah, if you, like, basically, if anyone has any other questions or wants to join us on the next one, I mean, we're kind of going over, but this has been fun. Yep, so, uh, hey, thank you guys for tuning in today. Please hit the like button. Email us to info at headsetadvisor.com if you have any questions. Otherwise, we will see you next Friday, 10 o'clock, a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Have a great weekend.